Hey everyone, Team BDF here for some more Trails in the Sky with Jubsy. RKO! Uh huh. <laughs> Jubsy's doing an RKO. That's right, I'm gonna do an RKO on our team, and then I'm gonna come after every single one of you in the audience. Uh huh. Brace yourselves! Brace myself? <gasps> Take that! Oh, crap, I actually don't have enough, uh. I will become an RKO. Look at these little rabbits. Look at them eating their stupid little food. Knock that food out of their hands. Make sure they never eat again. Jeez. <laughs> uh. <laughs> never speak again! <laughs> those are probably the only... Well, there's a few more I have to edit, Dave, but... Uh... Other than that, yeah, you're mostly caught up because, god, it's just, I don't know, I play Breath of the Wild very seldom. Huh? It's not even the game's fault, I love the game, I just don't ever want to set it up. Game, I have an idea for no. you. No! Okay, what? No, no, I mean, I was just gonna, <laughs> you know, kind of sort of get you, uh... Oh. I was just gonna kind of what? No. Oh. All right, fine. I won't do it. I'm going to ambush you now. Oh, sir, sir, sir! It's been a while. How you been doing, Wham? Ah, yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? We're fine. I'm glad to see you're looking good, too, Father. Well, welcome home, you do. Right now, Roland is locked away by foul! Even seeing your immediate surroundings is quite difficult. However, there are things that can be seen precisely, because what can I see them with the... Ah! <laughs> Not to be tossed out by a never changing outside world, but this means to quietly speak to the self, spend your days like that, and the fog will become an ally instead of an enemy. I understood like 30% of that. His words are always rich with meaning. No, they're not. Who's got my freaking job? There, okay. Ooh, the wonderful evening day to celebrate the cinema. Really, every time I see your face, the emotion from that night come floating back. We gazed at each other underneath the lights with the stars and the fireworks. I don't think it's meant to be that creepy. <laughs> I put my dedication into words to convey them to you. Uh huh. They have a moment. Oh! Uh oh. Oh, and who am I to be? With the Bracer Guild. You're under arrest, right? I saw your request on the <laughs> bulletin board. Ah, you really came! Uh, oh, right, thank you. I've been waiting for so long. Why are you staring at me like that? Hey, this is so wonderful, Armband! I'm so happy! <laughs> oh, really? Why is your heart so beautiful? <laughs> Even though I am the cause of your suffering. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Don't say that, I man. We promised that night, didn't we? Oh, we were here, good old hands, and live out our days together. Cut up bad. Oh, I love you, Sally! And I love you too, armband! I sweat. Um, did you have some kind of request before you go to jail? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, this might be a qu request! Uh, um, well, to make it short, this request is so important that it directly affects our future. In fact, I'd like you to start investigating immediately if you can. Can you? Yep, we're all squared away. <laughs> really? Bless you, Braces! Bless your loving hearts! How wonderful, our man! I'm happy! Oh, Ellie. Why is your heart so beautiful? Oh, I'm bad! So, about that request. Oh, uh, pardon us. <laughs> yes, uh, let me explain. Yes, please do, as simply and swiftly as possible. But I'd like to ask you all, it's nothing less than finding our own engagement ring. I scraped up and saved all of the mirror I could get to get a really nice ring, but then, then, 
And Chris is Crow snatched it from me. Crow Hogan? Oh! Crow? Like the guy from Five Ds? Yes! The ones that, the ones that goes, let's do and bring something to those that watch us. One of those dastardly duelists flew off with our ring this month. Well, crows are known to have an eye for anything screen time related. <laughs> a sparkling ring sounds like just their idea of a new toy. That ring's probably in some bird's nest now, huh? You want us to find it? Please. I'm well aware of how much a challenge this is. Even so, dearly, I hope you find it somehow. I mean, I want to find it too, but we don't have a whole lot of info to work with here. Just knowing a crow took it isn't all that much. Do you have any more clues? Well, I have some idea where that nest is. I'm pretty sure it's north of Roland. The crow flew off towards the Marga Trail after we were done plundering our hopes and dreams. I would have given chase, but with the fog and all. I see. So the Blackwing deck is probably to the north. We'll take that under advisement. Anyway, it seems we have no choice but to investigate places where the crow is likely to be. Not much else we can do, really. Uh, this looks like it's a job that's going to require a lot of finesse, and hopefully not finding a ring in the motorcycle. <laughs> we have no choice but to rely on the guild at this point. Please, please do everything you can. Your braces are our only hope. Please, you must find it. We'll do whatever we can, even if it means using Link Summoning. We'll come back and report once we know more. We'll be right there, I hope, in our future rest with you! Good luck! Oh. <laughs> At least he's not Shinji Weber. You, you dang where he ain't. We're poor people! We have crappy cards despite my level 12. My level 12 is 6,000. I'm so oppressed. <laughs> Let's waste I'm all pushing of Olympics! Waste every last bit of it. Yeah. Stop it! for the most useless white Gehenna ever. Yeah, this squirrel's going to the Shadow Realm. He did? He did. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Okay, now I'm actually gonna go back to the freaking thing, and then we'll look for the crow. Uh -huh. I was gonna go to a stupid as well. This chest is as empty as your soul. And as empty oh, as Jubs' <laughs> head. <laughs> it's as empty as your head, you piece of crap. Oh, the bug in tear, it seems. So along the Malga Trail, the fog goes all the way to 140 cells from out the city. Hmm. Not only does the fog extend halfway up the blasted mountain, but there are monsters everywhere. This is bad. Yeah, I don't remember it being this bad. Anyway, we checked all three roads, so uh, time to head back and report to Ina. Unless you can think of any other pressing business, I'd say that's right. Yeah, there is pressing business. We want candy! <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but you've already cleaned this one out. Huh? Do you guys hear the sound of a bell just now? Hmm, indeed. It sounds quite distant, however. <laughs> it was really pretty, too. Yeah, I know, it was like hypnotizing for a second there. Oh. Cher, are you okay? You're spacing out. No, it's nothing. Like you said, it's a lovely sound. It enchanted me for a moment is all. You too, huh? You don't hear a bell that... You know, okay. It's possible. We have a clear picture of how far the fog extends now. We should let Ina know. Yeah, let's head back. Please don't. Oh, god dang it. Is this gonna kick me out of the one quest? Good work, everyone. Let me pay you for your efforts before we continue. I have to admit, though, I was expecting a more vague report. If the fog has boundaries that clearly defined, 
Yes, it's all but impossible to think of it as natural when you see it. I'm still a little unclear as to how big the entire fog cloud is. Let's take a look at it on the map. Map. So if it's 60 cell, eight, cells down the Elise Highway, 80 down the Milch Road, and 140 down the Volga Trail, this will look something like this. It's not as helpful as I thought it would be. Yes, it's strange. The way fog spreads should change based on its point of origin and the direction of the wind. Mean it we're still completely in the dark on what's causing all of this. Or what it means. Guess all we can do is stay ready for anything. I'm afraid so. The army's still on the fence about mobilizing too. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, I'm Tita. I don't suppose your grandpa has any inventions that are like a fog remover or something. Uh, what? Uh, grandpa did make something called a dehumidifier once. Dehumidifier? So it removes water vapor from the air, right? That's perfect. Can we use that? Um, I don't think so. It's meant to be used indoors. It need hundreds to affect a place as big as Roland. And even if we had them all, it wouldn't fix the actual problem. Yeah, technology fails us, huh? It'd also be nice if we had some solid evidence that the society is behind this. This feels a little half-cooked, I think, for them anyway. What do you mean half-baked? What makes you say that? So far, everything they've used their gospels for has been some sort of world-shaking phenomena, right? Literally, in one case. But just producing some fog isn't really that impressive. Yeah, good point. You think this would be like a flesh-eating doom fog thing or something coming from them? Ah, oh, and let us not forget, every time they have given us a message in some form of another. This time, however, not a murmur. Wait, have they? My rival's ghostly projections, the wolf appearing amongst sheep, and our cute kitten's lovely letters. Each time they were provocative signs spurring us into action. For here, silence. That's true, I guess. Hmm, to put it like that, it does come across as rather half-baked. Hmm, Shara, is there something to matter? A message. We may have received one already. What? What? When did we... <laughs> help! Someone help! Oh, Alright, Mayor. Mayor Klaus. <laughs> oh, so, uh, hello. Uh, Mayor Klaus. <laughs> Hi, uh, uh, what's wrong? You look like you just ran a marathon. Wait, why am I getting the weirdest sense of deja vu? Mayor Klaus, please, get your breath. Has something happened? There's something you can say that. Yes, I'm glad to see you all safe at least. Mayor, what do you... Mayor, if you could explain. Just a few moments ago, Lita collapsed in my home. Several other citizens have faded in the same way. <gasps> what? It's the fog is killing people. Well, the grades don't have anything coming out of them now, but uh, I still think our prediction is fine. They did. Okay. Nah. <laughs> I've been out to, I've been out to a thousand houses and it seems the symptoms are the same in every case. They're breeding a stable and their pupils look fine. They seem to be asleep so they shouldn't sicken further, I think. The sea so is a small mercy, at least. If we can arouse them, however, I doubt I need to elaborate. Mayor, we need to find a solution as fast as we can. <laughs> Miss Dale, are you okay? You don't look so good. I'm okay. It's just, even Elise's mom and Luke collapsed. It's kind of a shock. Estelle, if you're not feeling well, you can go back to the guild house, you know, or you could rest at home. No, can't let myself get all mopey, you know? Father, you really have no idea why they're comatose? I'm afraid I don't. I de desperately wish I did. The traditional church remedies for awakening to sleeping aren't working, so I don't think it's poison or illness. It's more like 
Hideous preservers, but it's like their souls are trapped by something. Their souls? For the moment, it seems the best course of action would be to visit the homes of the afflicted. We need to find out what exactly the situation was like when they fell into these comas. Ah, right, let's go. Estelle Zerazard. As of now, my capacity as mayor of Rolik, I am formally requesting the guild's assistance. Please discover what has caused this and assuage the fears of my people. Leave it to us, mayor. We'll do everything in our power, sir, I swear it. Hey guys, am I the only one who's suspecting the society behind all this? Hardly, if anything, I find it likely at this point. A cow my father divine doesn't understand. I guess this kind of an incredible phenomenon, isn't it? Thanks. I was hoping I was just being paranoid. But then I have to wonder, has anyone received a message? That's a good question. You did write down the full list of people who have fallen comatose, yes? Oh, one sec. Lita, Tabitha, Luke, and Radford. We can begin by asking the family, friends, and associates of those four about anything suspicious. We can return to the guild house once we've done so. Right. All right. Uh, go to the guild house now and, go, and uh, accept the quest. Yeah. Hopefully we're able to go back to Malga Trail as well. Otherwise, we might have to reload. Let's see here. Okay, this is still available, so it might be okay. And search for the lost cat. I'll be waiting at the hotel rolling. Okay. So it seems like everything is okay for now. I just want to check out. I think the yeah, the two long-term quests are supposed to be like uh, before you fight them. Uh, no, after you beat the boss. Mm, we'll see. As long as they go from long. See, because this grate was spewing out something earlier. Now it's not. Uh huh. Oh wow! I can't tell if it's tonight or not. No. <laughs> All right, Dudzy. We're gonna be taking you down. Take him down. You cannot take me down. Take I'll down. take you up. Ah, <laughs> uh, Estelle says I'm uh, busy with bracelet work. I see your service is most appreciated. Hey, Vern. Anything out of the ordinary over here? Oh, that the hotel is quiet as always. Ah, have there been some sort of matter of incident? We're just taking precautionary measures, nothing to worry about. I see, very good then. Should anything occur, I would be sure to contact the guild. Alright, where's this person? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, you all are. We saw the job posted on the board. You right, Ida? Oh my my my, I'm so sorry to call you out so late at night. I know it's sudden, but would you go find Arrow for me? Yeah, we should be able to handle a job right now. Given the circumstances, I wonder if now's the right time. Responding to complex situations is an important part of blah blah will assist you. Wonderful! Provide some details, douchebag. We know you're looking for Link's little sister. Is that Arrow you mentioned, the uh, cat in question? Yes, my, that's right. My little arrow was run off. She disappeared while I was taking an afternoon nap. Whoops. I bet she got kidnapped by a giant bird, right? I started to get worried, too. Do you have any idea where she might have gone? If you can think of any spot she might have gone to, that would help. Mm, I might have an idea. From when I found out, the landing port seems suspicious. The landing port? I poked around there a bit and asked one of the engineers and they said someone saw a cat. They said that it was a light brown kitty, so it must be Arrow. I see. Oh, I should write down the color of the cat's fur. Ooh, that is valuable information. We're off to a promising start. Should be like 12 cats. We gotta pick the right cat. I think it's worth investigating. Let's ask around at the landing port. Couldn't agree more. I'm glad I was able to uh, able to help. Help, help, help. I'll be waiting here for word on my little, little girl. Good luck. Report, okay, until then. Cat in the hat. Yeah, 
Yeah, wiki page is fine. That's about the just that's about the extent of it though. The wiki'll explain everything. We gotta find some magical engine. Oh, we can sneak back here. There's nothing back here. Why no, is no. there nothing back here? I'm telling you, an arrow is the name of the little girl. Uh, name of Link's little. The freaking fog, the humanity! I'm gonna need to get everything set up to my standards. Well, you might as well be underwater the way things are. Excuse me, can I have a moment and throw you overboard? I need to ask you something. Uh, oh, oh, hey, sir, what is it? <laughs> we colored cat. Oh, yeah, that cat. I saw it around uh, noon today. So Which lines up perfectly with what Ida told us. Do you know where the cat is now, or where it was headed? Where's the cat? No idea. Sorry, the day been kind of crazy. Where would it have been? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Sorry, I haven't seen it since then, and I have no idea where it might have gone. Cats kind of go where they please, you know? They're just have to hang it. Yeah, I guess they do. Uh, well, that's it for us, then. Our trail of clues stops in the sky now. Oh, uh, now, hold on there. Why not add Quint? He just went into the town for dinner. Quint? Yeah, he's uh, Cecilius Helms. He was talking about that there cat, too. Okay, time to find Quint. Let us have this Helms mysterious too, then. I would imagine that he is at the restaurant in town. Thank you for the help. No problem. Good luck. Now get him. Now, okay. I wanted to portray his ang anger in the most over-the-top manner possible. Uh -huh. I, I needed to hear him growling, like a frothing at the mouth. Zazamov. Oh, this guy again. Uh, okay, Odom. Instant Ricky. Is this not the right uh, diner? Oh. Uh, no, this oh. is one of them. <gasps> oh, hey, Lisa. Sorry, I. Esther! Yes! Hi, hi! That's great! So good! When'd you get back from training? I've been so worried! You didn't come back for so long! Haha, uh -huh, I'm sorry. I got kind of busy and I couldn't say hi. <laughs> so, is your mom doing alright? Well, it seems like she's sleeping okay, but I'm so worried she won't, like, wake up or do anything, even if you shake her. But the device said that there's nothing to worry about, but... I see. We're investigating this at the request of the mayor. Could we ask you a few questions? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Ask me anything you want. Okay, first, when did your mo where did your mother fall asleep and when? Uh, let's see, it was about five o'clock, I think. Mom and I went to clean the chairs and stuff from the terrace. The chairs? Yeah, I think they might have got damage from all the humidity in the air due to the creepy fog, you know? We finished weatherproofing the ground floor, you see, so we figured we totally stored the chairs, too. All right, and then? Okay, so while we were cleaning up, Dad called me. Then I got back. Mom was all zonked out in one of the chairs. So you didn't see her fall asleep, then? Yeah, sorry. So, I tried talking to her, shaking her, but she wouldn't wake up. I totally freaked out and called Dad, and he called her up to the uh, bed. And then, she... she wouldn't... Mom! Alyssa. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sort of losing it because you're, you're home too, Estelle. Yeah, I know. It's okay. You don't need to worry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay now, thanks. <laughs> Did you want to ask anything else? No. Oh, God. Sherry, you got anything? Possibly. Did anything strange happen before or after your mother went to sleep? Did you see anyone you didn't recognize or hear anything strange? People I didn't recognize? Actually, yeah, just I was sitting inside. I saw this lady come out of the clock tower. A woman? Was it someone from Roland, you think? Well, um, I couldn't see her face. The fog kind of made it hard to see the details. But her clothes were really weird. She had to be a traveler of some sort, you know? Really weird? What was weird about them? 
she was wearing this sort of black dress robe thing? I can't lie, it was kind of hot. Everyone in this town is deprived. It's just this town. That's the source of all of it. It was a bit hard to see the details through the fog, though, like I said. I see. Still, this is really valuable. We need to go tell Ina this. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Alyssa. You've helped us tremendously. No, no, it's okay. Good luck with your investigating stuff. Don't worry, Inconnus to save your mom. We'll figure this out when you're okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so there's apparently another bar or diner that I'm forgetting about in this town. Time to do an RKO on her, too. See, because he went to have dinner, but this is the only bar in town, isn't it? Uh, I would like to think that there's probably a restaurant and not just a bar. Oh, there's a it. restaurant. Hmm, I don't know, but I would like to go ahead and make a, a recommendation that you don't touch the bars. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> What's this over here? It's just a house. Because there was an engineer in there, but his name wasn't Quint. Quint, okay. Don't touch the Anything box. back here? Denzel. Alright. <laughs> I KO him into the grill. Not someone I'm interested in talking to. Sneezed seven times, going for the record, huh? Are you talking about back to back? Like, dang, man. Because that's the hotel. This is just the mayor's place. I don't think there was any bar or any or any restaurant or anything over here no and i'm certain it's uh, what olivier said he must have gone to a restaurant or something then go to the other green spots what's well, the general goods store in the armory ah shoot actually hmm i I think I might have an inking suspicion. The, the hotel has a place to eat, doesn't it? Does it? Man, I'm just, just a hunch. Yeah, ha ha. I mean, if it's just gonna be exclusively hotel, hotel, but, uh, well, you could just. these people, okay. I'll KO them into the toilet. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's nothing in here at all, and I can't go to this back room. Hey, I KO him in that room. I'm gonna dip with every lip. What? I. Hmm. He's at the restaurant in town. That's exactly what he said. Unless one of these people who doesn't look like an engineer is. Actually, an engineer. Because I thought I talked to all these people. Yeah, I did. This is the only guy here who looks like an engineer. So, what? I would like to. I mean, uh, gotta be another freaking restaurant somewhere. back here. Uh, this just goes to people who live here. Well, here's another one of these I guess we'll have to do. Estelle! Uh, oh, oh, dearie me. Oh, Estelle, right? Look at you. I've seen your bracer and everything. Um, good evening. Uh, we, uh, we heard about Luke. Uh, yeah, yes, it's still. It's still. <laughs> Whoa, hey, Pat, is it that bad? Well, you, you see, a little Pat is the one who found Luke after he collapsed. Oh no, Pat, don't worry, it'll it'll be okay. <laughs> Maggie, how is your grandson? Is he hurt? What? what? No, no, not at all. He's sleep. He's sleep at all. He. 
Really, this is just a bit of a fuss. He'll be right as rain tomorrow, I'm sure. Let the rascal do for himself out, like boys do, you know. No, no. All right. You know Maggie. waking up. <laughs> hey, Pat, can you tell us what happened when Luke fell asleep? <laughs> We're investigating what happened on behalf of the mayor, on behalf of the town. Pat, if there's anything you can tell us, it might help us solve and stuff and whatever. Please, Pat. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thanks. So where and when did Luke fall asleep? Um, I, I wasn't there when he fell asleep, but I found him on top of the clock tower. I think it was just past five o'clock. We were just playing hide and go seek in the fog. And I was it, and I was looking for Luke. And when I found him, he was asleep. I thought he was just being a jerk, and I tried to wake him up, but he wouldn't. I see. Wait, one thing I don't see. Who the heck carried Luke down from the clock tower? Oh, that was Mr. Paddington Bear. He came up, he found us, and just while I was trying to figure out what to do. He said he came up to make sure that the clock was working and the fog wasn't causing any problems. Oh yeah, that's just like Mr. Paddington. Alright, I think I get the gist of it. Pat, I was wondering, when you were playing, did anything strange happen? S strange? Did you see anyone you didn't recognize? Hear any strange sounds? Like Estelle said, anything could help. Um, I don't remember much at all except the white of the fog. I do remember thinking it was really creepy not seeing anyone at the landing port. I see, hmm. So, creepy fog aside, nothing that really suspicious happened. Nuts. Seems that way. Thank you, both of you. You've given us some food for thought. Uh, I'm glad we could be here for help, dearie. Estelle, Estelle! Is Luke gonna be okay? Yeah, you bet he will. Pat, don't cry anymore, okay? For Flint's sake. Luke will tease you if he finds out when he wakes up, you know. Okay. <laughs> I won't cry anymore. <laughs> I'm beat up Jubb. I will stab you. Wow. Oh. Such a violent individual, Jim. I have to be. I have to be. Just for that, I'm opening all these doors. Oh, well. I gotta be somewhere else. Okay, maybe it's not one of the colored spots. Just. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a restaurant. <laughs> Sometimes a relaxing sappy chip is just a ticket. Sorry, can we have a moment? Are you Quint from the Liberal Orville Ship Company? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Can I help you with something? Yeah, if you got a second, there's something we wanted to ask. Do you know the difference between an Orville factory and a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Searching for a lost cat mm, must be extra hard at night, like when it's in the fog. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to say I can't help. I haven't been seeing anything like that cat around here. Really? You haven't seen her? Yeah, I saw it. It is as well. I ain't seen no cat. I just heard about it second hand. Second hand? From whom? Zazimov on the same crew. This is the guy who's at the restaurant. I think he said something about seeing a cat he was working on the airfield. And if you want, I'm sure he'd be happy to provide more deets. He's to be on the clock. At the landing port. Eh, now we have to turn right back around. It's not that far. Walk first, complain later. We need to find Zozimov. Okay, let's go. To the bar, he should probably still be there. Okay, now he's Son gone, a... so now he S... should be at the landing port. The SOB freaking man. That would be pretty great. It's like, we want to ask you about a cat. He's like, oh god, he's just like running away. Not the cat.
first guy. Oh, RKO him in the water. He's hiding back here. No. Yeah, I'm calling it now. Uh, they, the bell put them, knocked them all out after inhaling so much of that gas. But they probably stood at the sewers. They inhaled a lot of it. Then they hit the bell, put them, knocks them right out. It's hypnotism gas. Hmm. What is this? Looking for you. What on earth are you doing over here? Yes, and I'm yes, I'm spending a relaxing evening in the woods. So what the? F <laughs> you see, when you're on the ship all the time, you begin to long for greenery. So sometimes I just like to kick it back and release. I mean, relax among the trees like this. <laughs> yeah, of all the forests in Roland, this is clearly the best place to get some greenery. Sure, why not? Well, for better or worse, we found Zosimov. Let's hurry and finish our business. Yeah, gladly. I want to ask you a few things about a freaking cat. Looking for a cat. We heard from Quint you saw one. I certainly did. It was just a bit past noon today. I was half loading some luggage from the ship's hold. Quite an annoying critter, making a fuss and meowing constantly. The ship's hold, okay. Sway, so the cat was inside the ship? Well, ship's hold can't mean too much else, can it? I suppose this ship could try to hold the cat another way, but I doubt that end well for the cat or the ship. Ah, but of course, inside the silica. I mean, the Cecilia. It's of no wonder our search was fruitless. Our quarry is in one place we did not search. He ain't near. And that makes the rest simple. We just need to search the ship. Shouldn't take long, ya. Yeah. Thanks for everything, Zosimov, you douchebag. Uh, it's you're looking for a wheat colored cat, right? Yeah. Oh no way. Ah, you guessed. Yeah, you're looking for a wheat colored cat, but the cat I saw was black as pitch. Ha <laughs> ha! An excellent punchline. I'm sorry, the relevance of that detail didn't strike me until just now. I am certain there's a cat on board, however. Why not take a look anyway? Perhaps your color has taken a tar bath or gotten covered in soot somewhere along the way. That's a good point. There's an off chance it's still Link's sister. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe the black kitty is a friend of yours. Yes, that's true. We have other clothes. Let's follow this one. Okay. Why, right, let's take a flight then. Yeah, something up. You're out rather late. You boys just seem to have it awfully rough as well, eh? We all do right now. On well, that side, we have a favor we'd like to ask you. Oh, what would that be? Ugh. We'd like to search inside the Cecilia. Wait, so... You want to go inside the Cecilia in the cabin? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't okay that so easily. You need to give me a reason. Well, cat. Yeah, cat on board, whatever. I'm afraid I can't get permission to the board on my own, however. I'm really sorry, but you'll have to leave now. What? Kinda didn't expect to get told off. Told off nothing. I can't al allow what I can't allow. Company policy, no exceptions. Begging won't get you anywhere. Just head home. For the love of... Guess we have no choice. We're not quite done yet. <sighs> no. Oh! Why are you being so hard-headed, hmm? What? What the? Oh, yeah. Now, why don't you think about it long and hard? If a cat really is on board, that's trouble for you, too, isn't it? What happens if it ruins the seats? Wouldn't that be a tragedy? Well, well that, that is... Yeah, sure, I, I mean... Uh, I, I can't let you on without permission. Don't worry about that. We won't cause any problems. Just let us in for a little bit. What do you say? You'll do it for me, won't you? <laughs> Shara, using your assets like a weapon like that is something. 
my envious fathomness. So, do we have an understanding? I, I, I guess? Oh, man, oh, man. this could get me. Look, good for a minute, okay? And never tell anyone about any of this! <laughs> of course. Okay, there. Get in quick. Uh -huh. You better save. Oh, for another cutscene. Wow, it's really dark in here. Yeah, all the lights are out. Oh, jeez. Even in the darkness, however, I can feel the hum of energy from the passengers. Yes, it's a little creepy, to be honest. Feels like something waiting to leap out at us in the dark. Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd conquer your fear of ghosts. It's enough ghost talk, thanks. Come on, let's find this freaking can and get out of here. Okay. Uh, we won't keep that poor maintenance worker waiting. All right, no, save. I say save, though, because it might actually be a literal minute. You're a minute. That would be... Okay. Yeah. Hey! It was a... Yeah. Finally found you! I bet you're Ariel, aren't you? Wheat-colored fur, just like we'd heard. This must be our cat. The kitty's safe! You little troublemaker, we ended up walking all over the place thanks to you. What were you doing hiding in here anyway? Huh? Is Molta Cat? Kit kittens! Well, aren't they adorable? I... They look like newborns, too. So she gave birth to them here? Maybe that's why she snuck away? She was lucky for a safe place for the kittens. Even cats can be great mommies. <laughs> yeah, but does she have to get on the ship? Oh, whatever, let's go report. Yes, let's. I'm sure Ida will be quite happy. Hey, Gina. Ooh, what a surprise. Arrow's up and, up and become a mother. <laughs> we were just as surprised as you. Didn't see that coming, not one bit. Both mother and children appear to be healthy. Raise them with care. Why, but of course, there's pussies to me and grandchildren. Now comes the real challenge. I need to come up with a perfect name for each and every one of them. I'm sure their names will be really cute. No problem there, even to me. Well then, please take care on your way home. Okay. That's... All right, we just blow them away. Wow. Man. Alright, one case cleared up. We need to get back to our real job. Indeed, the sleeping requires our aid. May we go forth at once? Let's do it. Okay, now I can actually look away for just a second. You look inside the treasure chest now, okay. I will stab you. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, because I don't think we can even finish the fishing one until ages later, so I doubt it'll kick us out. Alright. It's probably good for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy! Whoop!